and they smell wonderful. So the time of the year that we've all been waiting for. So this plant is the tallest plant out of the whole grow. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to do a little giveaway. And the giveaway is going to be whoever guesses the exact size of this plant as it is right now in uh, its pre-flower stage, its stretching stage. Um, this is two weeks into its stretching stage. So whoever can guess the exact size of this plant as it is now, I'll be, I'll be sending you out a seed pack at the end of the season. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Dino's Finos. Thanks for tuning in. Smoke them if you got them. What y'all smoking down? Leave it in. Leave it down in the comment. Let me know what y'all are smoking on today. Me myself, I'm smoking on on a an old bag of um two-year-old uh, shake so we are in the sativa garden right now oh yeah I forgot about the date today is Wednesday July 24th 2024 boy has it been a crazy year We are in the sativa garden, and these are the <coughs> Pucker Punch by Jinx Proof. Over here is the V23, turning out a lot better than I thought than I thought it would. So this plant, as you guys know, was created through rotulated seed from last year and literally the plant that grew like grew over in that area and it was like fucking six inches tall and um yeah it's doing fucking great and we are <coughs> over back to the tallest plant this is the tallest plant in the garden and um like the beginning of the video said Whoever can guess the exact size of this plant as it is right now, about two weeks into its stretching stage, um, July 24th, Wednesday, July 24th, whoever can guess the exact, I need an exact size on this plant, you will get sent out a seed pack of the fresh new batch of this year's project. <laughs> And this one is the Cherry Gasm Cross. <coughs> this one's Cherry Gasm and <coughs> Valley Fire. <coughs> Which Valley Fire is one of my strains that I named after the fire that happened uh, first year I was out here. These other two are the same. <coughs> this is uh, one of the barn stash. Doing absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure about this barn stash. I'm not even sure I want to keep it. <coughs> I'm just worried that... <coughs> All the... um because it's in so close together that the flowers are just going to be too uh, too close and it's going to cause a bunch of uh, moisture issues which as we all know leads to bud mold 
Um, and out here, they like to um, they like to annually <coughs> annually <coughs> on the fucking clock, dude. Every year, they fucking dump rain on my fucking garden. I don't give a fuck when anybody says natural, blah, blah, blah. I don't fucking believe it because of the fact that we can, manip humans can manipulate the weather. And they do so. So I don't believe that they're not doing it on purpose. Um, because that's the way the fucking industry works. And that's the way the government works. People keep people sick and um, unhealthy and unable to consume their own medications or let, let, let alone have the brain brains to grow anything because they're dumbed down by society and they don't give themselves enough credit. Um, not the government people, but um, yeah. And uh, as long as you keep people sick and afraid, then they... Then for some reason, they feel like they need more governance. I don't understand it. Um, and they, and y'all know they don't want us growing our own medication. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm afraid with. With uh, not afraid. I'm just cautious about happening with this one so i'm not sure i want to keep it sorry for rambling on for a second over here we have the v241 v241 i'm not fucking it up anymore i finally got the name down v241 yeah i even got the little v24 i just didn't put the one there <coughs> <coughs> and she's doing <coughs> great. <coughs> Moving over here, we have the Pog by um, Son of Odin Seed Co. Doing absolutely wonderful. The Pog is the passion fruit orange guava. And that is a <coughs> very delicious strain. <coughs> <coughs> I grew it in 2021 from a NOYB seed that I got from Mendo Dope. And um, I, it, I knew it was, I know it was that strain because I know what passion fruit, orange, and guava fucking tastes like. Um, and it smelled so oh, 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 good. Oh my God, did it smell good. <sighs> All right, I gotta cut this uh, kale back. Over here we have um, we have the white who, the last remaining seed, the white who, and we have the still who, and then we have the V two four two, and this one is. Definitely genetics from last season's breeding project with the white who strain. Um, so just not, I'm just not uh, sure which one it is, but this is the one that just naturally made itself around. Didn't have to do much but top. It's such a beautiful plant. Everything's looking pretty clean. There's some chewed on stuff from fucking grasshoppers and shit. Um, starting to see minor little, uh, leaf stippling from pests I don't care for. Um, so I am going to be getting some lacewing soon, and then, uh, I'll be getting some ladybugs closer into flower when it's a lot cooler out here, because it's been fucking 100 plus degrees out here, 95, 100 plus out, out here. So, um, and that really makes the fucking pests breed faster and spread. Uh, but nonetheless, everything is at a healthy balance that I am comfortable with. And that's what it's all about is having a 
healthy balance and with nature working with nature to keep that balance so i'll be introducing some bugs some some uh, new predator bugs i'm pretty sure that oh by the way these are the two mendo it's mendo dope hello coming to take morning picture i take photos of you ah they're turning they're like damn it caught us low flying planes hello snap some pictures you want picture of my ass yes <laughs> They're fucking turning. Where'd they go? I can't see them. I can't see them on the... What the? I can't just see anything. Hello? Oh, doesn't help. The sun is in my eyes. Hmm. All right. All right. They did a circle. That's funny. They're like, wait a second. There it is. But, uh, yeah, so these are the two It's Mendo Dope. I'm pretty sure that one's a male. It's starting to, sh little, look, starting to look a little clustery. Um, but I'm going to wait for sure. Pretty sure it's a male though. This one's big, beautiful female, which I am so happy about. I'll be able to get at least a whole bucket full. Hey, get the fuck out. Hey, don't be shitting next to my garden, mother. Hey, get out of here. You go take your shit somewhere else, bro. Fucking dogs. I'm going to take a shit right in front of my garden. What the fuck? All right. Anyways, before we're interrupted by a bunch of dog shit. Um, it's Mando Dope. I'm going to be happy I'll be able to fill up a bucket. Oh yeah, I really like this strain. I hope it's the purple hair pheno. <laughs> or at best tastes like the the pheno that it's supposed to taste like. Fucking orange bubble tape. Oh, it's so good. So good. All right, let's get on over to the other garden. And we're over by the other garden, and so are they. There they are. Hello. You get some nice photo? Yes? Oh, where'd they go? Right there. They just came this far, and now they're turning around and going back the other way. Come on. You're not taking pictures, my ass. See you later. All right. Let's get back to one. There we go. The squash, the tomato patch was looking fabulous. Beside the fact that I am lazy about tying things up and I get to it super late um, and stuff falls over but nonetheless it's doing great got lots of squash growing tomato flowers are just starting to come out so we're gonna have lots of tomato these are cherry tomato by the way and we got the cucumber in the back there they're doing pretty good starting to climb up the fence and the little trellis things I 
everything's looking <coughs> absolutely wonderful. On this first veggie patch, I was out here watering and I broke some tomato tops this morning. Disappointed in myself. That's what happens when you don't tie shit up. All right, all right, here we got the. We have, as you guys can see, I cut out Shark Boy. Um, are you done? All right. We have the Shark Berry. We have Shark Berry and Shark Berry. And then we have Grape Abasaxi. And then we have the nine pound hammers. I see why they're called nine pound hammer now. Cause these things are fucking beasts. I can't even get them in the whole frame. I gotta go back 0.6. There we go. Beasts, beasts, beasts. All right. Can't wait to try that nine pound hammer. I've heard so, much, so many good things about that strain. Right here we have the cucumber and beans as you guys for all you people who know what pests look like oh yeah that stimulation is from mites that's why i gotta get some mites I gotta get some predator mites they're not on my plants but once these beans are gone they will move so i'm gonna have to get some predator mites keep that population down um, this always happens whenever I plant beans. Mites just fucking love beans. Um, like thrips love cannabis. Um, yeah, so those are coming out soon. We've got lots of cucumbers. We've been picking some the last couple of days. I'm so glad I trained these things up because they're just naturally growing up the trellis now. Which is what I want. All right. <sighs> One thing to note I want to note for everybody and for myself right now. Uh, mid to end of, end of July as things are stretching is a great time to start cleaning up your plants plucking off all the yellow leaves don't worry about the yellow leaves this is if, if it's your first grow don't worry about the yellow leaves from here on out it's just what the plant naturally does so it can focus most of its um, energy into the flower growth which you want to help promote by trimming up the bottoms, picking out the insides so it can get some good airflow because it's going to need it. All right. Um, if you haven't topped already, you can now. Um, it's a little late, but uh, you can now if you want. Finish, get some last little tops in there. But I personally don't. I only top one, uh, sorry, twice or three times a year, two or three times a year. Um, and then I stretch out and let everything do their thing. Um, one reason mostly is because I like bigger buds. Um, and fucking small buds are a pain in the ass to trim. So. All right, we're getting, oh, sorry. These are the, um... Crazy Train, Crazy Train by uh, Son of Odin Seed Co. These two. And we're over here to my row, my little patch of my seeds. Um, and this is the Magic Headband. This is Magic Rabbit. Yes, both are from the same genetics. 
um, the vanilla Kush Cross I've been working on. This one is so fucking good. So they're real, both really good. Both really have that vanilla Kush flavor, but this one is so fucking good. Oh, this one is the one I'm going to be entering in. Hopefully it comes out as the Fino I, uh, I need. Um, cause this is the one I'm going to be entering in to one of the ones I'll be entering in to, um, the local farmer's cup. All right. Getting on over here to this one, which is pretty far in flower, which I expected. Nice. Look at that. Nice pink pistols. That's a good healthy sign. That is a real healthy sign. That's what you want to see. Nice, beautiful pink pistols. It means the plant's got everything it needs. Um, and this one is the Funky Who. This is the Funky Berries times White Who. So this is my White Who times uh, Badger's Batch, Funky Town. Um, and Badger's Batch uh, Puckerberry. And then over here, same plants. There's actually three in this row. You can't tell. You got the top there, top there, and then that little one right there. And that one's the furthest into flower. This plant is known to do that. It'll flower early, finish early. So it's about a five, six week strain flower so it'll be it'll be done end of september uh, yeah end of september this one will probably be like mid-september because it's already it's already like three weeks into flower and then these ones will probably be mid-september end of september no sorry yeah mid-september end of september and then over here we have the mendo dope green shock farms row and this is the Toasted Charms. First two are females. Then we got the Toasted Charm male, which I am watching very closely. And it looks like it's about to drop some pollen, so I'm gonna have to get in here and pluck some flowers off. <coughs> um, and for those of you who don't know, I did. there is somebody that asked me if I've made a pollen video um, pollen collection video and storing and all I do is I watch the plant very closely watch it very closely and then when it's got big bulbous flowers like this one right here namely you can see it's starting to open I'll pluck those off each and every single one I'll go through every single branch it is painstaking and very tedious but that's how I do it and then I collect the pollen inside of a little jar. And then I store it in the freezer. Um, saying that I have a freezer that's got room. Right now I don't, so I'm just storing it in a jar up in the dark. Um, inside of a semi-cool place. Um, it, it will be viable. I'm only using it this one season. And for this, for like this strain and the sh and the sharkberry, I am going to be collecting the pollen to be using to create more of my own seeds of the toasted charm, and then whatever I have left that I don't use from this, I'll be using inside of the greenhouse to keep things from spreading, so I don't get the that pollen, those pollens mixed up with the main breeding project pollen. Um, I don't do it like this very often, but, but because of the circumstances and the situation that I am with me losing everything in the fire, literally 98% of my fucking genetics, um, I have to, I have, I have to do another season with multiple pollens, but this year I'm going to keep an eye on things very closely. Like, what the fuck is that? Crazy bug. I have to look that one up later.
That thing's cool. All right, back to the point six. Um, this one is tropical cream fraché. So the first three are the toasted charms. The last, these two are the tropical cream fraché. The only two that made it. Um, I didn't want to use the pollen from this one. It just uh, seemed like. A regular old strain so I'm gonna use that beautiful mail right there or the, I'm gonna use my mail actually to be breeding these but um, probably will use some of that the um, toasted charms cross the toasted charms with the tropical cream fresh eh? and then um, <clears throat> over here we have the 5k this was a 5k I thought was a male and it turned into a female, so we're going to make it work, obviously. And then let's go see the disaster that is the greenhouse. And this is what I mean by disaster. So don't ever do this. <laughs> don't ever do this. I've never grown inside of a greenhouse, and I did not... Um, foresee this I mean I kind of did and kind of ignored it and this is what I'm paying for so this one's gonna probably be okay because it stayed pretty short and I've got the branches down and out of the way except for this one's growing into there um, damn I'm gonna have to pull this one over but uh yeah I planned on doing um, a light depth it just didn't work out this season and this is what happens so hopefully everything will be good more or less these plants are going to be used for creating seeds these two back here are the barn stash the last two barn stash go back to the point six there we go so and i topped this one and it's stretching like like a motherfucker this one too. This one will be easier to maintain though because it looks like it's staying shorter. <clears throat> and over here we have the grape abyssaxi. We have one of the grape abyssaxis. And this is a beautiful plant. It's absolutely loved it inside here. Um, these ones are doing a little better. This one, these are the 5k so this this is two more of the 5k this one's in flower it's about three weeks in um so i'm gonna have to pollinate that soon probably be this branch right here oh let's give it a smell it's got some trichomes on there change that angle get a little closer in on that mm. Some nice trichrome production. Oh, that's so fruity. So fruity. Mmm, that smells good. That's wonderful. I love it. Mmm, so fruity. Mm. Woo, that's going to be a good one. Oh, yeah. All right, so, yeah. That's what's going on in here, guys. Don't ever do this. If you're going to grow inside of a greenhouse, make sure that you keep the plants nice and short. You don't have to do a light depth, but keep it nice and short because they're going to stretch at the end. And something I always don't anticipate at the end of the year is the stretch. Um, especially with the techniques that I use. The regenerative farming, man. If your soil is alive, your plants, are, your plants will thrive. That's my motto. All right. Well, that's going to conclude it for this little update. Today is July 24th, 2024. Oh, yeah. Plums are being picked. They're so delicious. I'll catch you guys on the next one.
Cheers. What kind of fucking plane is that? Oh my god, everyone, I found a Weedle. I'm gonna catch it. How's it going, y'all? Thanks for staying tuned in for this transition update. Um, smoke them if you got them. <laughs> that went right to the head and body. Wow. Woo. That was a good one, guys. So, <coughs> we are standing in front of the three cherry gasms. Actually, sorry, three cherry gasm crosses. And I found out this morning that most likely both of these big ass beasts are fucking greedy ass males. And they've been sucking up nutrients and time this whole time. Um, so um, I know for sure this one is. And it's coming down. I gotta chop. I gotta top that. Yeah, check the top colas and everything on that one. Um, but I know for sure that one is. And this one's looking the same. So they're both gonna. They're both gonna come down. It's a fucking damn shame. Um, all this time wasted on those two fucking plants, on these two plants. You know how fucking big they are. These are the biggest males that I'm talking about. And once again, had males this season taking their sweet ass time. Um, all the females have uh, chosen, but the males this year, they did not want to show first. Except for a couple of them. So, um, yeah, that uh, sucks, man. It sucks. But you win some, you lose some. Um, it's kind of a blessing too, because this would have, these would have been monster ass trees to, um, to harvest and trim. And that would have taken up a lot of time and space. I'm pretty sure I got it for every, for the whole grow this season, but it's definitely gonna be a full dry room. Speaking of dry rooms, today I'm gonna be uh, going and getting the supplies that I need, and um, the next couple of days I'm gonna be working on the dry room or dry space that's inside the shipping container. Um, so, um, yeah. Other than that, you guys, take another rip.
<laughs> Excuse me. The giveaway. <laughs> giveaway still stands on this one. I need an exact number. That's <laughs> the deal. Whoever can ex whoever can guess the exact size of this down to the inch. <coughs> <coughs> Of when I <laughs> did that last um, uh, video take in the beginning, I want an exact number down to the inch. Whoever can give me that number uh, first, I'll get to you, and we and I'll get you a pack of seeds out at the end of the season, or when the seeds are ready. <laughs> um. Other than that, look out, uh, keep your eyes peeled for my vocal, my vocal video. Here, let's go check out the garden, you guys. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for the vocal video. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a vocal cover of the Black Dahlia Murders of Vulgar Picture, which is a crowd favorite. Everybody loves that song. That song is an instant classic from them. So, um, it's a good choice by everybody. Very, very good choice. Got the pog right here, this big, big beast. Not as tall as that cherry gasm though. That one got that one actually got taller. And then over here we have V241. And then as you guys can see, I chopped out that other barn stash. It just wasn't doing anything. I was reading some stuff about about that, um, about why stunt by plants can stunt, or why like they might have curling leaves, like in the other garden. That other one had just started growing curling leaves. I don't know. So um, I cut that. I cut both of these out because um, they just there's too many um, red flags uh, to keep those plants around. Um, and I wanted nothing to do with uh, those end of the genetics, so um, took them out. So we got the one barn stash left. These two are going to be cut out um, because they're fucking males. But uh, they're not going to go to waste. I'm going to make canes out of these because these are some nice thick stalks. And when they're nice and thick, like when they're when they're nice. Uh, and lanky like this. I mean, they're not super thick, but um, when they're like this, they tend to be more solid. Um, so I'm going to definitely make some canes or walking sticks out of them. Um, same, going to do the same with this, with the other, with the female too. But um, those are projects that are, you know, up on the shelf. Um, right here we got the V23 doing a lot better than I ever thought it would turn out to be. Lanky, but that's because it's getting shaded out by the two pucker punch, which have absolutely blown up in the last, since the last um, installment for this, for the transition. And then over here we got the white who. And then we have the still who. And then V242. Which I think I might call it V24 who. Because I'm. These. This is definitely the white who genetics. All right, over here we have It's Mendo Dope. That one's a male, it's coming down today. Um, not that I don't want the pollen from it, but it's just gonna be, it's gonna start producing the pollen too late in the season. And I don't wanna take that chance. Um, so it's coming down. And um, yeah, that's it for the Sativa Garden. Things is looking awesome. Everything's beautiful. Very, very minimal pissed, pit, pissed, pest damage. And uh, we're gonna keep that down because I just because I just ordered some bugs from Nature's Good Guys. 
just ordered some lacewing eggs and some um, predator mites. And then later on, we're going to get some ladybugs. Let's get on over to the other garden. Now we're in here in the Indica garden. Got the shark berries and the nine pound hammer. Let's get on the other side. Looking awesome. This one's gone into flower. These nine, see why they call them nine pound hammer. These things are absolute beasts. I think I said that in the last one. Then over here we got the crazy train. Crazy train. And over here, we got the cucumbers. beans are done and then right here we got grape abisaxi and genie in a bottle and over here is are my genetics we got the funky who this is a great strain, really good strain, very medicating, and makes you feel really chill, relaxed, but motivated. Um, right here we have um, Magic Rabbit. This is a Vanilla Kush Cross. And then over here, we have the Magic Who. And yep, it needs water. They need water. I gave them some water yesterday. It wasn't quite enough. But they it is water day, so they will be getting a heavy watering today. And I will be doing another tea this week. And over here, this is the Mendo Dope in Green Shock Farms row. At the 5K, we got um, Tropical Cream Fresh A. And then over here, we got this is the last male that I am choose that I've chosen. So this is the one that I'm I've been picking pollen off of, um, and it's coming down today because there's a lot of pollen sacks going on and too much for me to want to sit and pluck at for another couple of days. So it's going to come down. I'll get enough pollen from it. Um, and then over here, um, these are, well, these three are the Toasted Charm. We've eaten a lot of plums. <laughs> well, the tree's almost bare. And they're delicious. Oh, another thing. We gotta go check out, check out the, um, this one's in flower too. We gotta go in the greenhouse. Let's go over here. All right, this is a disaster. I am, I don't know what I'm gonna do other than chop shit off. Oh man, it's a disaster. This one's gonna be okay. I'm gonna have to fix some branches, pull them down, train it downwards a little bit. Try and keep them uh, from breaking. Like I super cropped this one this morning. I might not make it if it doesn't, whatever. 
it's not a huge loss most of this stuff is just going to be used for pollinating mostly i mean i'll smoke on it but pollinating wash do what i can with it and then compost it um yeah got the remaining barn stashes stretchy stretchy that's the the valley fire genetics super stretchy we got some nice frosty buds on these and they smell wonderful so the time of the year that we've all been waiting for <laughs> 